Hey, we don't need you here right ha, now. Ha! A pigeon! It's getting away. Not long ago, the demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. We have one of those occupants here with us now, a Mrs. Edna Packer of Edina, Minnesota. What happened, ma'am? Well, these horrible men in masks came on board with guns and held us all hostage. I thought Sorry, I'm kids usually kids. web swinging. And then the police saved us, and and Spider Man, of course. He was so brave. Mrs. Packer, I am so glad you're safe. And also, that I can enlighten you about Spider-Man. You're from out of town, so you don't know what a menace he is. He saved me and my husband. But look at the big picture. Do you have these kind of crimes in Edina? Oh, certainly not. And do you have Spider-Man in Edina? Uh, no. And that? Is not a coincidence. You're welcome, Mrs. Packer. I consider explaining these things a public service. Pigeon alert! Don't fly away, please! This pigeon knows the city better than I do. Again. Bet you're wondering why I'm back in the game. Straight and narrow just got boring. My target number's 50 million. Nice round number, don't you think? Hello, cat. But if you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. Felicia's close to her goal. I've got to put an end to this, and fast. This area is full of Wall Street guys. Target-rich environment. There you are. She's obviously familiar with these places. And that gives me... ...an idea how to catch her. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. 
Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data, but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Good. Let's see. Hmm. Looks good. Get it under three milliseconds. This is for all the marbles. It's working. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. We got this, Spider-Man. Thanks anyway. Pal, this station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm, readings are troubling but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. 
The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. Let's see what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I think I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in? Not good! Nice, it's working! <laughs> Gotta stay above this stuff! <laughs> That's it! Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open.
Attention all units. We have confirmed reports of an active bomb. Converge on Grand Central. Over. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals. But it'll cure the pigeons, or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse.